Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary family, Jared here with your next word for the day. And I've titled this short message, What in the World Are We Thinking About? I think we can all agree that in the course of a day, we all have numerous thoughts. But did you know, according to a study done back in 2020, that the average person can actually have up to 60,000 thoughts per day? That's crazy, right? The study does go on to say, though, that a lot of the thoughts are repetitive. But still, what in the world are we thinking about? What are we letting influence our thoughts? There's so much noise all around us at all times of the day fighting for real estate in our minds. Whether it's dealing with family and friends in our personal lives or politics, movies, music, and entertainment, and let's not forget social media. (laughs) So how do we filter these thoughts as followers of Jesus? Well, Paul instructs us how to in Philippians chapter 4 in verse 8. So let's read through that real quick. He says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. We have to fix our thoughts on what is true. Our thinking has to be right and according to what God's word says. And in order to think on what is right, we have to first know what is right. And Paul spells it out very clearly here. Uh, Is our thinking true? Is it noble? Is it right? Is it pure, lovely, admirable? Our thoughts, are our thoughts excellent and praiseworthy? Because these are the very thoughts that should be taking real estate in our minds. So instead of thinking, what in the world are we thinking about? It should be more like, what in the word are we thinking? I hope this message finds you well. God bless you and have a great day.